All right, so I wasn't able to take as much video of building the door as I wanted to, but basically what we did is, you might notice the 2V dome is a bunch of different uh, pentagons, and so pick one that faces the direction that you want your door to be, right? Um, if you got to turn the door, now's the time to do it, you know, turn the building. And then you see the red of the pentagon, that apex, that vertex, where you have all the five short poles meeting, unbolt that one then loosen all the other ends where it attaches to the rest of the dome. Right, and that's the first step. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bend the poles outward. I've got a side view here so you can see. And uh, you're going to have uh, you know, basically formed three different triangles. Then you're just going to take some wood. We use two by sixes and, and just use normal construction techniques to frame it out. And then you just, you know, put it at the apex of those three triangles that you've made. You know, this picture is a little different from the way we did it. You know, we left the, uh, the top triangle you know, pointed outward. But uh, on this one, we've got it attached to the corners of the door frame. It really doesn't matter how you do it. You know, just, just let your design and, and your situation be the guide. Here's an interior picture of, of us in the process of framing. You uh, uh, don't quite get to see the, the pentagons there. The tarp's sort of in the way. We sort of unbolted a little bit to get everything right. But there in the end, when we put the, the metal conduit pipe triangles to the wooden door frame, we used galvanized plumber strap tape, you know, basically a strip with holes in it. We just nailed it in to hold it there in place. And then because a door frame is, is sometimes the weakest part of the structure, what we ended up doing was taking a bunch of, I don't know, they were, they were I think, 18-inch long carriage bolts, drilled through the door frame, that 2 by 6 to, uh, uh, framed in door, and then uh, put the bolts through both the door frame and the 2 by 6 We used a really large washer and a, and a nut and tightened each one up so we had about um, three poles or three pipes sticking out of each side of the door frame. Then we used a bunch of other lock uh, washers, put washers on there about halfway down, put another washer on and then tighten it up with another bolt and then again at the end. So we have basically like uh, you know, wings sticking out of the bolt you know, in the center and then at the end. We just used rebar, rebar wire tire tie to tie the, those washers into the actual chicken wire and fencing so that it, it acts like rebar. And so then when we when we put in the cement, the cement went around those uh, those uh, bolts, stuck in around those washers, you know, got into the tie wire and actually made the door frame part of the structure. You know, because I don't worry about somebody coming through the cement, right? The door is pretty strong, but it doesn't take much to take a door frame off its hinges if it's just regular typical bolts. Right, and, and you can see there, you look at the top of the door frame, you see, uh, you know, it's sticking out a little bit. We left that triangle sticking out rather than put it to the corners or cutting it off because I wanted to, to later attach a security camera, maybe some security lights there to the, to the end of the building. Uh, but also it gives you a little bit of an overhang to protect you from, uh, from the weather. All right, we're about to show you one last picture of the dome there, and you see that the door frame isn't fret, uh, isn't straight up. You know, as we put in the bolts and we put in the wires, all that kind of changed everything. But before we cement it in, we had to make very careful that the door was uh, was level. So, you know, that's a picture of the finished dome, and uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you very much.